Hey guys, today it is time for my monthly everyday makeup drawer refresh. I'm really excited for this spring to summer transition time. Very excited for summer makeup especially. I love like a sun-kissed blush in the summertime. Overall, lightweight, breathable, glowy products are where it's at for me, so very excited to pick out a new set of products to put in here for June. First, I want to give you a quick recap on everything that was in here in May. So this section right here is where I keep all my shop my stash items. And then this over here is my project pan. So first I actually did end up moving one of these over from my shop my stash into my project pan, the Urban Decay uh, Vice Plumping Shine Balm in the shade My Dude. I've been talking about this a lot lately. Unfortunately, this is discontinued. They still sell some other shades. I think they're phasing this product out though because most of the shades are discontinued including this one, unfortunately. But I have just been loving this shade for just a sheer, quick lip gloss this time of year. And this formula is so nice. I don't know why they're discontinuing this because this is such a nice non-sticky formula. Like, well, I mean, it's not completely non-sticky, but I guess I should say it doesn't get like stringy if you accidentally apply too much, which I really appreciate. But I also just love this shade for the summer. Just a nice sheer wash of coral, beautiful. Goes with so many different looks that I do this time of year. So that one has been moved over into my project pan. Um, and then while we're talking about lip products, I guess we'll kind of go in reverse order today. <laughs> Why not? So these are the other lip products I had in here in May. These were actually a repeat from April as well. I just kept these in here for the past two months. And I'm honestly tempted to leave them in for yet another month, but we have the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in Happy and the Bite Lip Crayon in Stinger. I love this combo. Really actually similar color to that Urban Decay gloss, just in obviously a different format, but this is the Essence Lip Pencil. Really pretty, just like soft reddish coral shade, and I really love this formula. It's very thin. It feels like nothing on your lips, but it's really nice and long wearing and gives like that almost blurred look to the lips that I really enjoy. So then the Bite Lip Crayon and Stinger, love this one as well. Really fun, bright reddish coral shade. Goes perfectly with that Essence lip pencil. Really all three of these kind of similar vibe, and that is the vibe I'm loving this summer. So I kind of want to leave both of these in for another month. Mm, yeah, you know what? I feel like if, if I'm in the mood to use something, I should just leave it in my everyday makeup drawer so that I can have easy access to it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in. This is the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Coral Cutie. And I think I also tried this as a blush one time this month, and I really liked it. It worked well. I don't think this particular shade leaves a very long-lasting stain, at least on my lips, but I do just think it's a nice, like, easy, comfortable, sheer lip color for the summer, so I still enjoy it. And then I also had in for a more like rosy lip, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Hibiscus. So there's that shade, more of like a mauve rose color. Also really pretty. I've just really been into, as you can see, sheer glossy <laughs> lip products, as I think a lot of people are this time of year. I just think it's so easy to throw on. Typically in the summer, most days I don't want to wear like a full-blown lipstick, like bullet lipstick, but just like comfy tinted balms are my favorite this time of year. So really enjoyed those, but I do think I'm going to put those back in my collection and pick something else out. Next I had these two liquid shadows from Hard Candy. These are their Eye Def metallic shadows. They don't have the shade names on here, but these are the two colors, a purple and a pink. These were really fun. I used these, uh, if you want to see them in action, I used them in the Get Ready With Me portion of my last Everyday Makeup Drawer video. I think I used them both in that one, but this is a nice like drugstore liquid shadow formula if you're looking for one. I do think they're, I don't know, it's not my favorite liquid shadow formula ever. Just because, I don't know, they're very wet and so they take a while to dry down. But once they do, they're really pretty. You just have to be careful not to blink too much when you first apply them. But that's what those two look like. I actually especially really like this purple. I'm picky about purple eyeshadows, but I think that shade is just so fun. Very shifty. Um, almost has like a gold reflect to it, so I like that. Um, I'm gonna put these away because I have another liquid shadow that I want to maybe try and just finish up this month because it's running low, so those two will go back. I also had this this funny little eyeshadow stick has been getting so much use from me this like spring and summer. This is the Urban Decay eyeshadow stick in the shade Fishbowl. It's this fun like matte, bright sky blue, I guess you would call it. Um, I typically I use this as an eyeliner and I will just dip a brush in there directly and draw it onto my eyes that way. Um, and I also like using it as an inner corner highlight. 
but yeah, I feel like I've used this quite a bit this spring and summer. I really enjoy that actually along with the Clarity So Amazing palette here, which is in my project pan right now. I like doing either a peach or yellow eyeshadow look using really any of the shades down here in this bottom row of the palette. And then I'll use this to do either like just a simple wing or sometimes I'll even do like a graphic liner type of look where I'll put a little bit of this like in my crease. Yeah, a lot of fun ways I've been using this. Even though I don't love this formula, I just like the color so much that it has actually come in handy for me. So glad to be getting use out of that. And then I also had my, one of my favorite eyeliner formulas here. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in Periwinkle Pop. It's called Periwinkle. It's really more of a, just like a lavender shade. There's that right there. I actually really like this in the lower waterline. I find it lasts really well. Normally I don't like putting liners in my waterline, but this one is just a really nice, like brightening, subtle pop of color, and it lasts really well in the waterline. So that I enjoyed. Lots of pastel, colorful eye looks I've been doing this month. I'm sure I will continue to do a lot of looks like that for the rest of the summer, because that's just the kind of vibe I love this time of year. So those are all really fun. Love all those different colors. All right, so getting into the face products now, I, I have been loving this Soul Body Bronzing Balm. It's a cream bronzer. This actually has been in my everyday makeup drawer for the last two months. I'm tempted to leave it in for another month, but I think I want to switch it out for my other favorite warm summer bronzer, which is the LYS cream bronzer stick. So I am going to go ahead and put this away. I've gotten two good months of use out of it, and I do feel like the dip in there has even gotten a little bit deeper since my last everyday makeup drawer. So loving that. I'm sure I'll continue to use that this summer. These are the two blushes I had in my drawer for the past month. I had my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Such a classic for this time of year. Beautiful. Really, it's a blush and highlighter in one. Like, when I wear this, I really don't feel the need to wear highlighter. Yeah, just such a beautiful, glowy blush. And even though it is glowy, I don't feel like it looks weirdly metallic on my cheeks. So I'm sad to put this one away, but I am going to go ahead and put it back because I know I have some other blushes that I want to focus on. But I really enjoyed that this month. And then I also had one of my favorite red blushes. This is the Minori Cream Blush in the shade Scarlet. The only thing I don't like about this is how deep the jar is. Like, do you see how how far down that goes? Like, if you had long nails, it might be hard to get it out. You could just dip a brush in there, though. So there's that shade. Such a nice sheer red. And this formula is really nice. If you if you typically find cream blushes too sticky, this one is great because it, it doesn't feel... Like, even though it feels like a cream... It doesn't have like a super sticky, tacky feel on your cheeks. And once it dries down, it has like, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say a matte finish, but like a just a natural finish on the skin. It's not going to look like really dewy or shiny, but it's also not like completely flat matte. So just a really great cream blush formula overall. Very underrated. The only thing I don't love is the deep jar, but that is one of my favorite types of shades to wear in the summer because it just gives that really natural, warm, sun-kissed look to the cheeks. Yeah, had so much fun with both of those in May. I also had the Estate Highlighter in here. This is their Baked Highlight in Lit. I feel like I kind of forgot to use this, so I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in for another month, because this is one of my favorite highlighter formulas. It looks so natural on the cheeks. That's it right there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that in for another month just so that I can make sure to get some good use out of it. Sigma Color Corrector just stays in here because I use it just about every day, but I love that stuff. It is actually really starting to run low. I definitely think I'm gonna be finishing that by the end of this year. And then the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, this is almost done as well, so I'm just gonna leave it in here. Well, it's always, I, I have always kept it in here permanently, but um, this I think I will be done with like very, very soon. Like that's all that's left right there. So. That will be an empty soon, and then I'll be down to just one setting powder. I'll have just my LYS setting powder. And these are the other three base products I had pulled in for May. I had the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I love this. This is probably my favorite primer that I've ever tried. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I feel like I didn't use this as much as I thought I would, but I think it's just because I was focusing on my Project Pan foundations so much, but I want to get back into mixing this with my foundations again. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and put that back in my collection because I have another like foundation type product I want to add in here. And then finally, the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is one of my favorites. I actually am curious to compare where the pump was when we started the month versus now. I'll try to get a screenshot from 
the last video so we can compare, but I do feel like I used a pretty good bit of this because I used this almost every single day. Usually I don't exclusively work out of my everyday makeup drawer, like I allow myself to grab and use whatever product for my collection I want, but these are just kind of the products that I default to if I don't have something else I want to use. But for concealer, typically I just stick to that one concealer for the entire month or for, you know, most of the days that I get ready, and that was the case with this one. So I loved this. Such a great lightweight concealer. I have a feeling I'll be using this a lot this summer because I'm just really in the mood for just light, breathable type of products, and this is definitely one of those. So loved that. Also just wanted to do a quick update on my palette usage project for May. I'm not going to be doing a full roundup video of the palettes I used in May because I only used one palette more than once in May. So this was my most used palette in May. This is the Clarity Soma Amazing palette. This I used 10 times in May. So this was like really the main palette I was reaching for. I had so much fun with it. It is in my project pan, so that's a big reason why I used it so much. But honestly, I think I would have been using it a ton anyway, just because this is my favorite time of year for these kinds of colors. So that was really the only palette I used more than once in May. I did also do a video on the palettes that I had not yet reached for in 2023. I'm not going to include those palettes here in this roundup, but I'll go ahead and link that video below. I did a multi-palette bingo using all seven of those palettes. So each of those got one use. And then these were the other three palettes that I did use in May. All three of these I used once as well. The Urban Decay Mini Naked Sin Palette. This is just a super simple, like neutral, rosy tone palette. Even though this is a super like basic kind of boring neutral palette, I really enjoy this for a quick everyday look. I just did a super simple look with this one day. I used this uh, matte medium brown shade called Boring in my crease. And I think I did both of these lighter shimmers, Sin and Unlucky, on my lid. And I used Twisted to kind of deepen up the outer corner. Yeah, I really enjoy this little mini palette. I don't think it's that great of quality, but if you can ever find it on like a really good sale, I do think it's good just for an easy everyday look. I also used my Lethal Cosmetics Custom 12 Pan Palette once in May. And then this is one palette that I actually have decluttered from my collection, but I still have it here, so I'll go ahead and show it. But I did use the Sigma Enchanted palette one time in May, and I don't know, I didn't love the look I did with it, but I'll, I did take a picture, so I'll put it here on the screen. But I did like just a kind of like rosy brown look. I think I mainly used the shade Budding on my lid and then the shade Terra in the outer corners. It's kind of like a warm, rosy look. I don't know, it was okay, but uh, I did decide to declutter this palette if you saw my palette declutter. So that one I did get one last use out of in May. And that right there is my May palette roundup. So now you can see why I'm not really doing a full dedicated video on that, but I did want to give you a quick update on the palettes I used in May. All right, so let's pick some new products for June. So right here we have all my base and complexion products. Um, I'm thinking for, actually for foundation, I want to pick out one very specific one. And it is way down at the bottom here because it's a little tiny sample but this is a sample of the kvd good apple foundation and i've just been holding on to this i really want to just go ahead and use this up this month so we're going to try that out and we can go ahead and try that today when we do the get ready with me after this that's the only foundation i'm going to pick out because i also have two foundations in my project pan right now one of which i'm also really trying to use up this month so those are going to be my main focus after this one all right so to pick a concealer these are the four concealers i have the next one was just in my my drawer last month so I'm gonna pick a different one let's do my LA girl pro conceal because this one I feel like I've used the least recently and this isn't my favorite concealer but I do really like it with the Sigma color corrector so that'll be my concealer for the month and I think that's gonna be about it for my complexion products moving over here to my cheek products like I mentioned other than the soul body bronzing balm which I had in my drawer for the last two months in a row the other bronzer that I really love in the summertime or the cream bronzer that I really love in the summertime is the LYS Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade Motivate. I think I had this in my everyday makeup drawer in March, if I remember correctly, so it hasn't been too long, but I just love this one in the summer, so I wanna revisit it. It's a great warm tone without being too orange. It's al It almost has like an olive undertone to it, which I find looks more natural than like a straight up orangey bronzer. So um, yeah, I'm excited to use that some more. So speaking of LYS, this is a cream blush that I haven't used in such a long time, but I really love this one. This is the LYS Cream Blush in 
Kindness. It's a really pretty matte, bright peach shade. I mean, it doesn't look super bright on camera right now, but it is a lot brighter than a lot of my other peachy blushes. And it just makes a great blush color for the summertime. So in the summer, I'm all about peach and red blushes. Like those are my two favorite blush colors to wear this time of year. So this will be my peachy blush. I also want to pull out a powder blush, which I have over here. And I think I'm going to do this one. This is one of my favorite blushes for the summertime. This is the Koki Soft Gradient Blush in the shade Bellissima. It's such a pretty, like, toasty red shade. I just swirl my brush throughout the pan, and it just gives the perfect, like, sunburnt blush look. So that'll be my powder blush. All right, I'm tempted to grab more blushes, but I'm also really trying to pan my Cream Flip Franken blush this month. So, and that one is more of like a neutral pink shade, so I think I'll have all my bases covered for blush. I also want to go ahead and grab this powder. This is the LYS Pressed Powder in the shade Resilience. Or resili yeah, Resilience, not Resilient. Um, I always forget which it is. But as you saw, I'm almost done with that e.l.f. loose powder, so this will be the next one that I, I, I mean, I've been using this a lot anyway, but this will be the next one I move on to because it's actually the only other powder I have right now. But I'm really enjoying this powder. It's a great pressed powder. I don't think it's that much better than some of my drugstore favorites. Like, I still think the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powder in the Pink Compact is just as good as this, so if you wanted to save a little bit of money, that one is great. But I actually find the formula of this pretty similar to that CoverGirl one. And then I'm not going to pick out another highlighter because I have the Estate one that I'm going to keep in the drawer for another month. And I also am working on the Aether Pink Diamond Dust Highlighter in my project pan. So that'll be enough highlighter for me to use. And I think that'll be that for this for this top drawer here. Moving on down now to my lip drawer. So I already have a bright lip color in my drawer, the Bite Lip Crayon and Stinger. So I think I'm just going to stick to this container here, which has more like my sheer slash glossy lip products in it. And one of my favorite summer lip shades, I definitely want to pull this in. This is the Elf Hydrating Core Lip Shine in Cheery. This is such a fun coral shade. I like that it's not too warm toned, um, but I love this in the summer. So this one I definitely want to pull out. It has the feel of a tinted balm, but you can see it has great color payoff. And then another sheer glossy lip product I want to pull out is one of my Aether lip stains. This is one of my favorite lip products for the summer. It's a glossy lip stain. It has really good staying power. It's this really nice juicy red shade. The stain it leaves is more like pink than what it looks like here, but I like the, I like the initial color and I like the color of the stain itself. So this will be fun for like a more like slightly more intense but still sheer and comfortable lip product and this also doubles as a great liquid blush. Last drawer here, this has a lot of my eye products, eyeshadows, etc. I am getting ready to film my summer capsule palette collection so I'm going to be switching out my basket, my seasonal palette basket, and so that's where my palettes will be going so I'm not going to pick out any palettes to go in my everyday makeup drawer right now but I do want to pick some other like single shadow type products so this is the liquid shadow I had in mind that I mentioned I kind of want to finish up. I just want to go ahead and finish it because there's really not much left. You can see, well, it's hard to see because the packaging has this like gradient to it, but pretty much all of the shadow is like down here at the bottom. So I may also take the stopper out too. I didn't even say what this is. This is the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Shadow in the shade Moonrise. Let me, actually, I'm going to go ahead and take the stopper out now because I'm having a hard time picking up any product. Okay, well, the packaging cracked when I took the stopper out, you can see. So I'm not sure how much longer this is going to last, but there's definitely still a good bit left. I'm not sure how well this will hold up now that the packaging broke, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to finish this off this month. But there's a swatch there. It has a really beautiful sheen to it, kind of like a rose gold shade, but I love this as a topper. So I just want to go ahead and finish that up. This is also the time of year I really enjoy wearing like one and done eyeshadows. So I actually want to pull in one of my favorite eyeshadow sticks. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Copper Chic. This is a beautiful, just medium, taupey brown color. Not as copper as you would think based on the name. Definitely has a bit of a copper warmth to it, but to me it's more of just like a nice mid-toned brown. It has a nice sheen to it, and just 
makes such a great one and done shadow. So that'll be a good, just like quick, easy one step eyeshadow look. Oh yeah, one last thing I wanted to grab is this liquid liner. This is the Makeup Revolution liquid liner in the shade Sky Blue, really pretty bright cobalt blue shade. This I wanna also try to maybe finish up this month because it's definitely on its last leg. It's getting kind of dry and I do really enjoy a bold, colorful winged liner in the summer. So I'm gonna add that in as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me portion now. Really excited to start out with this foundation sample. This is that KVD Good Apple Foundation sample that I am finally getting around to trying. I'm not really sure the best way to apply this, but I just squeeze some out of there. And, ooh, okay. I'm just gonna start by just like swiping it around and then I think I'll blend it out with a brush. Seems like this is a very balmy foundation. I know it comes in a compact normally, so. All right, so I've just kind of dotted it around. I hope I didn't apply too much. All right, so I'm just gonna blend that out with this brush. This is the BK Beauty 101 brush. It's like an angled foundation brush. The sunscreen I'm wearing today is, oh, oh. that looks so bad. Did I apply too much? Okay. It looks really dry over here. Let me try just tapping it in instead of swiping. I think I may have applied too much. It's hard to gauge how much you're using with one of these little blister packs. And I know this foundation, oh my God, it looks so dry on my cheek. As I was saying just a second ago, before I got interrupted by myself. Um, I am wearing the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel sunscreen today. That's what I have underneath this. Yeah, okay, looks very matte and full coverage. I feel like from far away it looks nice, but up close, it looks horrible. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It's It looks so separated and dry on this cheek. This one too, but this one is the worst over here. Yeah, the whole thing looks separated, dry, cakey. I know this was a very polarizing foundation when it came out. Like, it, I know it blew up on TikTok because it had really high coverage, but then, you know, people started actually buying it and trying it and realizing like, oh, it doesn't actually look that good on the skin. I know some people do like this foundation, so if you do, how do you use it? Like, is there a special trick that I'm missing here? I zoomed in as far as my camera will go and can you see that? Yeah, I feel like it is definitely showing how just cakey and dry that looks. Okay, not a great first impression there, but I probably have another, at least a couple uses in this little sample, so I'll definitely give it another couple chances, but so far, really not liking how that looks at all. And I feel like every time I go over this cheek trying to tap it out, it just gets worse. So I'm just gonna stop touching it, leave it alone. Um, just gonna do my concealer and color corrector. So I'm using the Sigma color corrector, just mixing both shades together, tapping that across my under eye. And then for this LA Girl Pro Conceal that I picked out, Okay, um, I'm gonna use cream cheek products in hopes that that will help to bring some hydration back to my face. Because right now it looks really dry. So let's use this LYS cream bronzer stick in the shade Motivate. I like putting a little bronzer on the bridge of the nose, especially in the summer. And I'll just use that same brush I used for the foundation, just because this is a good brush for, oh my god. Normally this bronzer blends out really easily, but it's almost like sticking in one spot. Yeah, it's like, it's harder to blend this bronzer over this foundation. And then I also want to use this LYS cream blush in the shade Kindness. This is such a pretty peach color and I haven't used this in so long. Oh, 
Okay, before I set with powder, I want to tap back over my concealer with a little bit more of this color corrector because that um, LA Girl concealer, it's looking a little too light with this foundation. Um, this shade is just a little bit too light for me, so I'm just going to tap a little bit of that deeper of the two color corrector shades on top to just deepen it a little bit. Then I'm just setting my under eyes with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Loose Powder. And then setting the rest of my face with the LYS Pressed Powder. Okay, well, really trying to ignore how, how awful my skin looks up close. And then for the highlighter, I picked out the Estate Baked Highlighter in Lit. Let's just dust some of that on the cheekbones. All right, so brows are done. This time I used a combo of my NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel. And then I went over that with just a little bit of the ABH Dip Brow Pomade just to shape a little bit more. And I also primed my eyelids with the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up Primer, which by the way, if you're, <laughs> if you're following along with this eyeshadow primer, which I thought was almost done back in like December, it is still going strong. There is so much left. At this point, I'm thinking this will be around until the end of the year. So the saga continues. I did actually already film my summer palette basket, so that'll be coming soon. Probably not till next week. I'm not sure. I'm doing a lot of pre-filming right now, but I did grab a couple of palettes from there that I want to use today. So I was just feeling really drawn to Sigma Ambiance today. This is, I don't know what it is about this palette, but it just feels like such a great summer palette with those warm tones. Then I also wanted to maybe use one or two of the shades from the Flower Desert Lights palette. So those are gonna be the main products. I actually do also wanna go ahead and use my e.l.f. No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Copper Chic. I guess I could have skipped eyeshadow primer, but I forgot, it's just such a habit. So. Uh, can't hurt though, but I want to put this on as just a base. So I will just swipe that all across my eye like that. Um, I'll take any kind of more dense crease brush. This one is the EcoTools Defined Crease Brush. And I just blend along the edges. All right, so there's that eyeshadow stick just on its own. Let's dip into the Sigma Ambiance palette now. So in my crease, I'm going to take some of this shade Basque here, this sort of light camel brown shade, and I'm just going to use that on the brush that this palette came with, which is the E38. And I'm just going to dust that through the crease. All right, then flipping that brush around, I'm going to take some of this. There's two dark browns in here. They're pretty similar, but this one is a little bit more red toned here. That's the shade Sunspot. I'm going to take a little bit of that on this other end. That's the E54 Medium Sweeper. That I'm just going to kind of lightly dust out in this outer corner, really just above the upper lash line, kind of in this outer third. Okay, loving this smoky brown vibe. I mean, that totally right there would make a complete look, but I want to dip into Desert Lights now and pick up some of this shade over here. That's the shade called Horizon. It's kind of like a cross between a rose gold and a taupe. That I am going to tap just all over my lid. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I have missed this palette. I have been neglecting it this year. But this is such a pretty palette. Oh my god. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this lightest shade over here called Mirage on my pinky. And that I'm just going to tap just in this outer, or no, the inner corner. Alright, just to make things a little more sparkly, because you can never have too much sparkle. I want to use some of this liquid shadow too that, I've, that I rolled in. And I'm just tapping over the lid. Yeah, this is definitely on its way out. I'm going to try to just use up those last bits before it completely dries out. All right, going back to this e.l.f. shadow stick, I'm just going to use this as my lower liner 
This makes a great just kind of like soft smudgy liner and I don't even have to pull in a brush. I can just kind of glide it across the lower lash line and it pretty much looks blended without me having to even do anything. So love that. Taking a little bit more of Basque from Ambiance. And dusting that through the crease. And then I guess I really only am using a handful of mattes from this palette today, but lastly I'm going to use some of the shade Days, which is that matte cream color. And I'm just going to dust that on my brow bone and in this outer corner here just to kind of clean up that edge. So things didn't start off very well with this look with that KVD Good Apple foundation looking horrendous on my skin, but I really like this eye look. So at least one part of the look went well. Next I'm just going to do a quick brown liquid liner. This is the Annabelle Eye Ink in brown. I'm just going to do a wing. Okay, so just applied some mascara, still using my Tarte Maneater Mascara. Of all the lips in my everyday makeup drawer, I'm thinking this Aether Lip Stain in the shade Wisdom is going to be the best fit for this eye look. I think that e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine is probably a bit too peachy for this eye look, and then definitely the Bite Lip Crayon and Stinger. I don't think that would go very well since I have some, like, mauve to this look. So I'm going to try the Aether Lip Stain on top of the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil. Just going to really lightly outline my lips with this, and then topping that with the Aether Lip Stain. Yeah, I think a sheer red works well with this eye look. I do want to finish things off with just a little bit of powder blush. I'm going to use some of the Koki powder blush that we rolled in because I think it'll just tie everything together, especially with the lip. All right, so aside from the foundation, which was a big fail, let me know if you have any tips for me to make this foundation work. But other than that, I actually really like the rest of this look. And this has gotten me really excited for summer makeup looks. This is definitely the kind of vibe I like to go for in the summer. So that is going to do it for this round of my everyday makeup drawer. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you so much for hanging out today. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do also have a Patreon and a channel membership if you would like to support my channel further. Otherwise, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye!